Hi guys, Yeti Thompson. I'm going to do a bit of a, a gear review today. Uh, I'm going to review the um, the GoPro Hero 6 Black. I've had it now for about about a year, I think. Uh, and I'll tell you some of the, the issues I've had with it, as well as some of the successes and my current level of experience. And I haven't, I didn't use it a lot. I'll tell you right up front. I was maybe only using the thing once, maybe twice a month for a long time. Part of that is due to some software issues with the camera. Uh, also, I'm going to be uh, giving my initial impre impression of this uh, ProShot camera mount. You can see it, see it there on my helmet. Mounts right on the front of your helmet. Um, I've also mounted my, my camera right there on the side of my helmet before and on another helmet of mine. I've actually mounted it up on top of the helmet. Uh, and I've tried a bunch of other different ways to uh, shoot the GoPro on my motorcycles and my four-wheelers. And I'll discuss those as well, um, but just give me a second here and I will get the camera mounted, or the GoPro mounted up on the helmet. We'll get the trusty KTM 300 XCW 6 days edition fired up and we'll go for a little ride. You ready for the action? It's actually kind of chilly out here. Uh, probably right around 50, 49 degrees, somewhere around there. Can fire right up. It's an awesome bike. Not gonna lie. GoPro, turn on. The voice control actually works real well on this camera. It didn't at first. GoPro, start recording. And there you go. We're shooting in 4K right now. I think uh, 60 frames per second which will give me a little bit of a slow motion option. I'll be able to slow it down to half speed. Usually I shoot in 1080p at 120 frames per second. And uh, that gives a really nice buttery smooth slow motion. I can actually see this screen pretty well on here and I can aim it. Right about there seems to be where it needs to be. Actually, it helps if I can put my eyeballs on it to see. You can hear the bike loading up now. That's uh, telling me that I need to take the choke off. I need to just go ride it. So we'll be back here in just a minute and we'll check it out. Just taking a second, letting the bike get a little warmed up. Pretty much all action cameras, GoPro, Sony, you name it, they're all going to make these hills look a lot less steep than they actually are. That's just the nature of the beast when you're dealing with a wide angle lens. This camera does have image stabilization in it. It's actually pretty decent. Uh, it crops in a little bit, but that's what that's all of them. Let's see if I can scare off my ducks. Take a little warm-up ride and then uh, We'll test out the noise cancellation abilities of this thing. by the size of them. Look at there's another deer and a whole bunch of wild turkeys. Look at that, huh? Isn't that cool? Another doe. They're a little skinnish. Hunting season just ended here about uh, four or five days ago. Well, rifle season ended, I should say. There is a, I believe, another uh, another archery season coming up for deer, and uh, rifle elk season coming up too. So they're probably a little nervous by now because it's been hunting season since late August of some sort or another. I'm 
gonna test out this uh, this HEVC codec that uh, GoPro uses on this camera. Again, this is the Hero 6 Black. Bought it new last year, like the day it became available. Didn't even know it existed yet. I was actually gonna get a Hero 5. Kid down at Best Buy talked me into this one. Tell me it was a BT, so we'll see. got a lot of features though uh, the voice activation is one of them image stabilization noise canceling uh, microphones so uh, they, they actually work pretty good you'll see here in a bit when I, when I post the video I've done uh, time lapses with this camera and it'll let you do time lapses uh, either as a series of JPEGs or uh, just high uh, high definition video, which is pretty cool. I've actually got some really nice time lapses, and I think you can actually plug an external power supply into this thing and extend your shoot time. But when you shoot a time lapse, it actually goes pretty good. All right, let's get up to some speed. See what kind of. read some reviews that said that if you tried to pull it off, it'll actually pull the, the Velcro that's attached to your helmet off of your helmet. I actually believe it. I actually gave a test pull on it, and uh, it seemed like it didn't want to come off at all. And um, I've heard, also read some reviews of guys crashing their dirt bikes wearing these and having the camera stay wet, right where it was. So that's also a good quality thing. Let's do a little speed and see how it goes. Diggity, highly recommend you get the six days edition. Six days edition actually comes with a lot of cool, uh, cool features like the anodized triple clamp, the uh, quick release front hub, uh, anodized rear sprocket. Got this. Oh yeah, I got to point this out to you. This awesome little switch here, which, if memory serves me right, adjusts your ignition mapping. And I think I did put it down on lower power mode. It sure felt like I was hot rodding it there. But this adjusts your ignition mapping so that uh, the hit is a little softer for slippery conditions. Pretty sweet, really. Uh, hydraulic clutch, of course, as all KTMs and Husqvarna's come with, which is pretty sweet. Um, my brother has a 250 XCW, which is obviously not a six days edition. And the features are definitely different. Like my brakes are different than his brakes. Um, not just the uh, the master cylinders, but the uh, the actual brake rotors. And uh, he's had some issues with carburation on his bike. I haven't had any. Mine actually carburates really clean, which I'm really appreciative about. A little wheelie for you. Probably won't show up too well on camera because I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to wheelies. I never actually got taught how to do a wheelie, so don't give me a hard time, all right? I had to figure that stuff out on my own. 
took me years and years and years before I finally learned to cover the brake pedal with my, my foot. And so I'm practicing trying to get my uh, get my balance point dialed in. I haven't gotten there yet. I guess it's gonna take a lot of practice. But uh, I'll keep working on it. Bummer that winter's upon us. Anywho, uh, that's a quick uh, test of this equipment, a quick review. I think this, this uh, camera mount's gonna work out really good. Uh, we'll take a look in the, uh, the actual video footage, but I think it's gonna turn out pretty awesome. By the way, this was uh, recommended to me by uh, Kyle Brotherson of Dirt Bike Channel. And uh, you get a chance, check him out. He's got some really cool videos and uh, some really good test, test reviews and whatnot. The guy does a great job. And he's a much better rider than I am, so. And he's real humble about it, which is kind of nice. Anywho, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this camera down and uh, we'll get this, this video posted. And you guys can be the judge. Leave a, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the quality of the camera's recording ability for both sound and, and picture. We're also gonna find out if uh, the HEVC codec is actually gonna work okay. I've got a $2,500 uh, iMac Pro, pretty pretty sweet computer. And I noticed that in the past when I played it back in 4K, it would be choppy. Not always, but a lot of the time it'd be choppy. Um, and I've, that's which is why I've resorted to shooting in 1080p, that and for the slow motion effect. But I really want a nice crisp picture. So uh, we'll just see about that. and. And we'll also see how it does after I run it through my video editing software. I use Adobe Premiere Pro, and uh, that's pretty good editing software. So I'll try to get this edited up and posted tonight. And then you guys can let me know down in the comments what you think. Anyways, I'm Getty Thompson. This is Bravo 4 Adventure, and I'm out. GoPro, stop recording.